Jewish cult convicted of kidnapping and child sexual exploitation. So this is me giving some claps for the feds. Um, <laughs> on November 10th, two top leaders of the Jewish extremist cult, Lev Tahor, were convicted in federal court by the United States Department of Justice, or DOJ, on charges of kidnapping and child sexual exploitation. 39-year-old uh, Nanchman uh, Helbrons Hel 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 and 45-year-old Mayor Rossner were both involved with the planning and execution of the kidnapping of Helbrons' 14-year-old niece and 12-year-old nephew. Around 2017, Helbrons arranged for his then 12-year-old niece to marry an 18-year-old adult. The following year, the two were religiously quote unquote, married, they were never legally married, and began obligatory sexual relationships right away. In October 2018, the child's mother escaped with them uh, from Leftahor's Guatemalan compound to the United States and was later awarded sole custody of the children. After the mother escaped, Helbrons and Rossner began creating a plan to return the 14-year-old girl to her husband so that, quote, they could resume their sexual relationship and procreate. According to the DOJ, the group smuggled the children from the U.S. to Mexico using aliases, drop phones, fake travel documents, and encrypted applications. After weeks of searching, the children were recovered from Mexico. There were two further kidnapping attempts on these children in 2019 and 2021. Rossner and Helbrons face a potential maximum sentence of life imprisonment for their offenses. Well, good job stopping, yes. Yes. Thank you to everybody responsible for making this happen. Um, you know what's crazy? Yeah. Is at the time and um, during the period of them uh uh, making this conspiracy for kidnapping and attempting to execute this plan for kidnapping. This was the same time that this extremist, ultra-Orthodox, anti-Zionist Jewish cult was applying for asylum in the Islamic <gasps> Republic of Iran. Wait, that's th them? That's them? Yes. Yes. Amazing. The amazing. Did they get, did, did they manage to, so they were, oh yeah, so they wanted, oh yeah, you're right. They ask for asylum because they're being targeted for these activities. Yeah. So, so, so they, they feel originally... they say they, so. So they feel like they feel like they're being prosecuted, right? Persecuted or prosecuted? Persecuted. 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 Um, and they want safety. They're like, we're we're being oppressed. We're being oppressed by these people who don't let us. Um, I don't know if I can say this. Basically, molest little kids. Okay, we want to molest mm -hmm. little kids. It's a religious thing. Don't ask why. Um, and they don't let us. So we bring a press. The Islamic Republic of Iran, can you please protect us? Can you please give us asylum? We hate. And also, it's very, actually, it's very fitting because um, the Islamic Republic of Iran also approves of, um, legally approves of child, you know, molestation. So, and also these Jewish cult, they're anti-Israel, as they're anti right? Um, very much like Iran. Extremely. So they're extremely anti-Israel. Uh, Israel. And guess what? I Iran loves, loves, the Islamic Republic of Iran loves Jewish people who look extremely Jewish, who are anti-Israel. They just love to take them to seminars and meetings and show them around and just have like these religious looking Muslim Iranians sitting next to these Orthodox Jewish looking people and talk crap about Israel. Be like, look, we're not anti-Jewish. These we are getting along with this like brother, like fellow Ahlul Kitab, uh, you know, brother from another religion, people who are like anti-Israel like us. They love these people and they want to bring them. Like they want to make, make them make, make sure they look as Jewish as they possibly can and sit next to them and talk crap about Israel. So they're they're like a match made in heaven. As, like Israel era, and could give them protection against the United States. And they could basically do whatever they want with children in Iran because it's legal there. Um, and also they both hate Israel. Like it's a match made in 
um, heaven. I don't know the Islamic one or the Jewish one, but one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it 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 definitely helps that um this group the nickname for them is the jihadi Jews because the women are dressed like in chadors like they yeah. look like they wear full chador like sometimes even full burqa like they go way farther on the modesty and covering of women than even other very ultra orthodox Jewish communities like they're very extreme. And so they kind of started, if I'm remembering correctly, like in the United States and Canada, and then they got chased out of both of those places. And then they ended up in Mexico. And then they've just, everywhere they go, people don't like them. So they ended up, they go between Mexico and Guatemala <laughs> and they keep on having issues there. So now they're trying to escape everything and go to Iran. Um, I think I heard that that's not actually going to go through, um, but I'm not. I'm not completely sure. Oh, it's not going to work out. That's so sad. Like, how? Okay. By the way, there are a lot of like anti-Israel, anti-Zionist Jewish people who are already in Iran, in Iran and they get used a lot, a lot by the Islamic Republic of Iran. But if these people are not accepted in Iran, like, how bad do they have to be? Like, these people must be a special, this specific cult. I hope, like. YouTube, we're not like being okay. This we're talking about a very specific cause, okay? Please don't strike us down for being anti-Semitic or anything like that, okay? Like, please understand. I hope this is like the FBI is after these people, okay? Like, don't like if we're being anti-Semitic, yeah, okay? like I hope like if we get a strike, this is us letting know who the Department of the Justice manual. agrees that they yeah. do a no-no. <laughs> they do the no-no. We are talking about yeah. them doing the no-no. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I just want to make sure I add this here so that if we do get a strike, I could refer to the person who's doing the manual review to this part of the video that we're clearly saying we're talking about this cult, okay? Um, yeah, okay, so, that, but they must be a special kind of cult, given that nobody likes, like, they can't find anybody who likes, <laughs> like, even the Islamic Republic of Iran, like, sheesh, you guys are like, nah, might be... Maybe maybe it's uh, it looks bad for the Islamic Republic if they're providing asylum for people who are specifically running away because they want to have sex with children. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe that's yeah. like a little bit even too. If that's even a bit too much, even for Iran, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was <laughs> I was talking to Rivka about this, and um, she was the one who told me that Iran rejected them. I actually need to fact check that, but I was like, if that's the case, you know, things are bad when Iran is like, oh, yeah. Uh, despite our intense anti-Zionism that we both share, even I cannot get on board. Yeah. But what's crazy I is how far these people go. Like, so after the founder died, um. The I think it is uh, Hel Helbron, one of these two men who's taken over as the leader. Um, both of the two who uh, were convicted are very uh, senior and top leaders in the in the organization. But ever since the founder died, they like doubled down on their most extreme practices, and this includes just straight up child marriage. And to the point, they they tell girls to lie about their age. They don't let them leave the house, and they don't. Um, oftentimes they don't let the girls seek medical treatment and go to the hospital because if they go to the hospital when they're having their baby, the true age of these children will be revealed. So it's just like, wow. the, like such systemic abuse, like within this cult and this organization that puts specifically young girls at such a high risk um, of fatal consequences. It's crazy. So um, I really, uh, I, I wanted to give an update because I remember we talked about, um, this group being charged with these issues a few months ago. And now the department of justice has said that they can move forward and convict at least two. There are a few other, um, members of this group who are American citizens who are also facing, um, charges in relation to all of these crimes. And that, this is just one like one instance of them going after two kids trying to kidnap them repeatedly for years like they have so many other abusive practices it's crazy um yeah hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know 
like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.